It's a project that's been nearly three years in the making, so chances are you've seen it coming together. The Hilltopper Halls of History documents every decade of WKU sports. What, 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 what. There is not a finer place in the country than to showcase our athletes than right here at Dill Arena. 74 alum Gary Bowman, who was a freshman walk-on with the basketball team, is the lead donor on the project. In 1970, I was a country boy from Monroe County. And I can't tell you how much pride I had, and still have, when I would put that Western Kentucky University jersey on. A few years ago, Bowman decided it was time to do something to preserve the rich tradition of WKU athletics. I just thought it was important that we do something to showcase our athletes. As a former athlete, to walk through these halls and look at the decades and to see the sweat and the tears and all of the victories and some of the defeats, uh, it's just uh, hair-raising to me. The greatest pride that I take is when you're at a, uh, a basketball game here and you're walking around the perimeter and you see a parent with their child and they're stopped and they're, they're reading the wall. Even WKU sports expert Paul Just learned a few things along the way. For every item we went to research, we'd stumble on two or three other items that uh, that I didn't know about, and I thought I knew a lot about Western sports uh, history. Museum design is really a lot about storytelling, and we were able to take these stories and actually bring them to life. And it's a display we can add to for years to come. We have kiosks set up all around the concourse, and you can go up to that kiosk and you can punch in your favorite player, or your son, or your nephew, or your niece, or your daughter, and it will bring up that, that athlete and that athlete's statistics. Bowman and other members of the Alumni W Club were recognized for their efforts in establishing the Hilltopper Halls of History at a recent home game. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.